Hey guys, coming to you from the mighty Midwest. I'm leaving the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I've been waiting an hour to get out of this place, which is fine. The place was absolutely packed. I'm not sure the capacity of this place, but it was jam-packed. People on the floor, no seats, people waiting outside. So, with that being said, am I going to vote for Donald Trump? It's real important to get out and listen to your candidates because uh, there's just so much bull going on 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 the media as far as social media. You don't really know who to expect. And politics is a dirty business. The biggest thing is he said, "Look, I do not have to be here today. I don't. Don't get me wrong. Fort Wayne, Indiana, is a nice place, but I'd rather be somewhere warm and relaxing. Something to that effect." And he's right, he wouldn't have to be here today. He's here today because he wants to help the American people. He wants to help this country get back to what it should be, what it was meant to be. He is correct when we say we have a bunch of inept people in power that basically don't know how to do trade deals. And for example, we send everything over. Let's say if we send something over to China, it gets taxed. We sent th something over Central America gets taxed, but those countries can send stuff over here and we don't tax it. I mean, that's not in our best interest, is it? That's in the best interest of the globalist. You talked about the globalist on several occasions, that he's anti-globalist, and the people in power are working for special interest groups. That's where they get their money, and so they're going to take that money and do what special interests want, want them to do, which is make more money. And that's not fair, they don't care about the average Joe on the street. And one of the other things that's important to me is the whole immigration thing. I'm actually, I'm actually close to the Latino community. I believe in immigration. The problem is when you have thugs coming up here that are running the streets with gang activity, drug activity, which as we all know, the majority of the drugs are coming up through South America, Central America, Mexico. I mean, they got to pass through Mexico to get here. Then I don't want that stuff around my children and my future generations. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't. It's not being racist. If you've ever known anybody on drugs, it's a huge, it's a huge problem as far as addictions and money go. And and it's really a, a scourge of the earth, the drug problem that we have in America. So that being said, is any candidate perfect? Should we put our faith in any one man over God? No. However, Trump has momentum on his side. There was tons of secret service here. So Trump is the pre-selected Republican candidate. He may be the pre-selected president coming up already because Hillary might not even make it to the election, you know, she might get get indicted or